Good evening, everyone. My name is Jacqueline Radigan. I'm the superintendent here at Penridge. And a little bit different kind of a start to our meetings tonight. You'll see a whole group of people standing in front here. And I'm going to take just a few minutes to tell you a very special story. And when you hear your name called, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand since you're part of this whole story that happened. So I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Peter Mahan the father of Kristen Yoder and grandfather to Penridge students, Kyle, Luke, and Sean Yoder. If not for the quick thinking and cool, calm response by a number of people just before the start of our Thanksgiving Day football game, Mr. May Knight might not be with his family here tonight. Let's start with Brianne Benfield Mangini, a nurse practitioner in a local oncology office and 1998 Penridge grad who was sitting three rows above Mr. Mayen when he suffered a cardiac event. She quickly began performing chest compressions and was joined by parent Sandy Swartley. At about that time, our high school administrators and security staff saw the panicked faces of so many people, let me say thousands, and they sprang into action. Mr. Ray Ott, one of our assistant principals, sprinted toward the locker room to get athletic trainer Brian Alberger. Mr. Nick Schoonover and Mr. Scott Hagen, also assistant principals, helped security guards, Mr. Dan Branch, Mr. Don Fry, and Mr. Keith Clark with crowd control and in consoling members of Mr. Mayen's family. Ms. Gina DeBona, the principal, and Mr. David Lebowski, assistant principal, ran across the field to notify the Grandview EMTs on scene of the emergency. Penridge Regional Police Officer Don Bartholomew and volunteer firefighter Jason Trotter, a Penridge grad, helped get the ambulance to the east side of the stadium. Mr. Alberger and Mr. Bogan, our football equipment manager and a volunteer firefighter, took over CPR with help from Quaker Town trainer, Mr. Jerry Danko, until the EMTs arrived and shocked Mr. Megan back to life. They took him to the hospital for further treatment. Think about it, only 10 to 15 minutes all of this happened. A well-loved husband, father, and grandfather went from attending a fun family event to teetering on the brink of death. And it was only because of the training of perhaps a dozen people that Mr. Mayen is here with us tonight. Let us show our appreciation for all involved who demonstrated such initiative and kindness. And I'd like to say a special uh, welcome to Mr. May and to yet another Penridge event and wish him good health <laughs> and much happiness in the future. Let's give him a round of applause. In today's society, we all know, everyone, that so many people, when they have a chance to get involved, they do not do that. And these people all stepped up to the plate without even thinking about it. And I'm so proud of them all, and I'm so proud to be part of the Penridge family. With that, I'd like to introduce you to Kristen Yoder, who would like to say a few words. Good evening. My name is Kristen Yoder, and I'm here to speak on behalf of my entire family. For those of you who didn't know, my father went into cardiac arrest at the football game on Thanksgiving morning. When Mr. Ferry asked me if I would like to say a few words, I thought to myself, where do I even begin to find the words to adequately express just how deeply grateful we are to everyone who played a part in saving my father's life. As a family, we're still piecing together all the events that occurred that morning, but we've been told by many kind of what has happened. It is evident to us, though, that we are blessed to be a part of this very special community called Pinbridge. Last Thursday, we experienced firsthand what happens when a community comes together for the good of others. <laughs> when, my when my father collapsed, stra strangers in the stands responded right away and began to administer CPR and take care of my dad. 
The school administrators sprung into action to get more help. The school trainers joined in to take over CPR. The EMTs used the defibrillator to shock my dad's heart. Friends and school district employees stayed with my husband and my boys as they witnessed what was happening to my father. The fans in the stands were silent and many were actually praying right there. The football players took a knee. A deep friend had the difficult task of calling me at home and talking me through what was going on, all the while remaining comforting and calm. Uh, we had other help from Don and Jason to get the ambulance. And I was told that the Quakertown students came down from the stands and helped move their band equipment to allow the ambulance to get to my father. Friends drove us to the hospital to ensure that we would get there safely and be able to be there for my dad. Friends showed up in the hospital to support our family. The outpouring of love through texts, calls, meals, uh, and concern that we received over this past week has been absolutely over overwhelming. When we were told by the doctors that most patients don't walk away from a cardi cardiac event like this, and that they said it's a blessing that he was at this football game and received the care he did. Brianne, Sandy, Chris, Brian, and Jerry, it was the use of your knowledge, your skills, your training, and your giftedness as a first responder that truly saved my father's life. I'm a woman of deep faith, and I don't believe in coincidences. I believe that you were fulfilling your purpose for that given day. God placed you here at Penridge High School that Thanksgiving morning so you could perform a miracle, so he could perform a miracle through all of you. You are true heroes and role models. While words can never adequately express how deeply grateful we are to each and every one of you and what you did for my dad, on behalf of my entire family, I want to say thank you. We are so proud to honor you here tonight and we are proud to be members of this very special community. My dad would like to also say a few brief words of thank you to you. Uh, thank you, uh, the Board of Ed, uh, for the Prendridge uh, School District. Give me the opportunity to thank you folks for what you did for me. I would not be standing here today had you not uh, responded so quickly and professionally. <clears throat> my doctor over at uh, uh, Doylestown told my wife, and this is a quote, your first responders knew what they were doing. They were extremely uh, well-trained and most qualified. And he, he made it a point, because my wife said to him, thank you very much for what you did for me. And he said, don't forget the first responders. He said, they were there. They were the ones who did. They stepped right up. I also like to thank my family, my wonderful wife, uh, three of my four daughters, uh, Kristen, you met, Kelly and Shannon are here, uh, my son-in-law Dave, and uh, six of my 12 grandchildren who could make it tonight. Uh, we're from Jersey, and uh, that was another extraordinary thing. Pe people helped somebody from Jersey. That was wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so, and I want to, uh, okay, so we go to here. Kristen's a tough act to follow. She always has been. So uh, she said it all from our family. I just want to bring out a couple of little things, and I just knocked it over. Uh, Thanksgiving, this happened. And in the early days of our country, uh, it was truly a day and a time that our country was built, I feel, anyway. And uh, people help people. They didn't ask you who you were, what you were doing, did I know you, were you a friend, were you not a friend? People stepped up. That's exactly what you folks did at this time. Um, some, people, some people in our country today have forgotten uh, what the USA is all about. You're what the USA is all about, believe me. Um, uh, as Kristen mentioned, you people are true representatives of our American fabric, and we, my family, and all in the audience, all in the room tonight, are very, very proud of you, and you should be very proud of yourself. I thank you from the bottom 
of my now functioning heart. <laughs> And, and would like to present you with a little small token of my appreciation and my family's appreciation. The American flag pins that I'm, I'm going to present to you tonight is really represents every time you put this on. You don't have to think of me, but just think of yourself and how proud you should be of yourself for what you did for somebody who you had no idea who he was. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm truly grateful. You guys, um, you went above and beyond the call of duty, believe me. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, you help somebody. You help people every day. And sometimes you get recognition, sometimes enough. So I think the board, the board did a heck of a job in, in supporting you and recognizing you for the job you guys did because I know a lot of times you're out in a call if you're an EMT or you're a police officer or whatever and you just don't you don't get a pat on the back and I'm here to thank you and really appreciate it. so if you just stand there I could uh, hand out these pens and we have a couple other little items thank you Coach Hollenbach wasn't here tonight. I could thank him for retiring. From what I understand, the young lady over there wouldn't have, haven't even been at the football game unless he retired. So I, I probably could thank him if he was here. So. Thank you. You're a great American. Thank you very much. My hand all shook up here. Thank you, you're a great American. Thank you, you're a great American. Take care of my grandkids. Thank you, you're a great American. Thank you, you're a great American. It's great to be seen. Somebody said that before. Thank you. Caitlin Yoder is also a member of the family. Caitlin, are you here? There she is. We wanted to make sure we acknowledge you. Sorry we missed you. Your brother's trying to overpower you, I guess. Thank you, folks, too. Thank you very much. Okay, I think this group is going to go out into the hall, Mr. Ferry, right, for some more uh, pictures and maybe some questions. So please feel free to join them, and thank you all again. Awesome job.